Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. How's it going, guys? First and foremost, I want to say thank you for 10,000 subscribers. That's huge. I really appreciate it, guys. This is my birthday month. My birthday is on October 22nd. You guys just blessed me with more than you could ever even imagine. We'll get into that in another video. But today, uh, I got some good news before I start this video my CPA course and my Forex course is on a huge discount until Thanksgiving guys just for this is gonna be my giveaway to you guys uh, you know just for you know supporting the channel and all that so uh, in the description below this video you'll be able to get my you know CPA course as well as my um, uh, Forex course and those are $50 a piece so you could choose between if you already have the uh, CPA course you can get the Forex course but those be $50 discount until Thanksgiving guys so you have more than enough time to get that money together uh, and I just want to you know throw that out there right gonna come with a bunch of different bonuses and all that but I don't want to keep that part too long let's get right into the video all right so today's video is going to be you know uh, how to add your content locker at the end of someone else's uh, page. So basically, if, if you find a great uh, page that you come across and you're like, I would love to use that page, how would you be able to add your own content locker at the end of it? So for instance, this is one of our subscribers pages. Uh, my guy, uh, what's his name? I don't know. This is his name right here. Uh, let me go to his page so I can give him a shout out, man. Shout outs to, I don't know how to say your name, so I don't want to mess it up, but shout outs to my boy right here. You know, uh, he hit me up with a video, you know, with a request for a video, which is the one I'm doing now. And, you know, he wanted to know how to do this, but he figured it out on his own. As you don't know, YouTube had me on a restriction, so I couldn't upload. And so uh, he figured it out. And so I told him I would still make the video for you guys, right? So shout outs to you, bro. All right. And so let me get back into it. So basically, let me walk you guys through this. Let's say, you know, someone puts in their, you know, username here. I just put in anything they pick, whatever system they have, right? They click proceed. Now, mind you, like I told you guys, the gaming is just huge. NBA 2K20 just came out. A lot of people are looking for VC, you know, for their players and things like that. Uh, the targeted market for this is, you know, teenagers. Really, uh, teenagers uh, eat this up all day. Uh, and then, you know, a couple a couple of people in their 20s, you know, would definitely, you know, eat this up as well. But, you know, they can click on this, right? It generates, you know, it goes through this whole process. It'll let you know, hey, you know, it failed to do it. And then, you know, you'll get a message, right? And then it says instant delivery of your VC is blocked. Click on the button below to get your VC instantly. So it has the I am not a robot. So on the original one, it didn't say that it had a different button here, but he changed this out. And so this is his actual page. The subscriber uh, sent me. This is his actual. He redid it, and this was his. So it has the uh, I am not a robot. They click that, right? And then his content locker comes up, right? So originally, whoever's page it was at first, their locker popped up, and he found out how to switch it out. Uh, as well uh, without my help so he did a great job man so I'm gonna go through this one more time and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to switch it out so whenever you find someone's page guys you always want to go through you know go through the entire process this is super simple okay let it go ahead and go to the end and at the end I'll show you exactly what you need to do to be able to switch those uh, links out right all right, so for instance, when you get right here, instead of clicking this, because it's going to take you, you know, to his locker, you want to hover over it, you right click, of course, we know, we go to inspect element, right? So we see two things right here. We see the image that's right here, right? We see that image, and then we also see his content locker, which is this. So if I actually edit here, and then I grab this locker, you'll be able to see it right so if I go to a new window and I paste that code in a new window his locker should pop up bingo so that's his locker so what we will want to do is of course remove this and if you want to keep this image which you could which I probably will you can keep that image because I like the I'm not a robot 
but if you ever wanted to change that image out all you would have to do is like I say delete this you will you will go to the website guys we already know we went over this before so you guys should have this part down pat but you will go to this website you would you know go to Google find out let's see for image uh, for instance let's see uh, I'm not a robot PNG you know I'm just gonna use the same one but giving you guys an example so for instance he probably used this one you know you can save this as a picture so I'll save it right boom save that okay and then what you would do is you would come over here you will go to browse you will go to download and then bingo right you open that up you would just simply grab this copy you would come back to the original page you would delete it so for instance let's say you know I delete it click off of it I could add it back I put dot PNG and then it switched it switched it out to this one right so it looked different before but it switched it out so I could use that one and then above it which will be the link above this will be where your locker would go okay so for instance if I come over here to um, I'll use OG ads for example because they have you know pretty good ones which I think that's the one you use but I'll go to OG ads you can go to content locker what I like to do is I like to come to lockers that's already been made right and then I like to edit them so for instance I'll click on this iPhone X one I'll click on edit right it'll pop up here so I can see so I would change the name of this one to you know NBA 2k20 and I would say VC just so you know I'll remember you know which locker it is now you'll have to click on oh sorry about that you have to click on desktop you can keep human verification this is the part you will probably need to change so you would have to just come in here and everything that says iPhone you would have to go through and put you know NBA uh, 2k right so for instance right here I will click this out let me see if I can get over a little bit more okay so yeah we'll click all this out right here the Apple okay so the A is the last thing and then we'll put NBA 2k oops 2k uh, BC right to receive you know you could put your free like your free NBA 2k PC okay boom and then uh, this is the next one so right here followed by the and at the end to send you the 2k V oh, I keep doing that so 2k and then VC or I'll make that big and then I'll make the K big so we keep it consistent I think I did the K smaller on this one but yeah guys like I said just take your time whenever you're making your pages there ain't no need to rush you can read it you know what I mean follow uh, by the server you will be asked to submit your contact information and address in order to send you that boom okay so we need one survey to receive your NBA 2k uh, VC so that's perfect then on this you could change this image out which I'm not gonna do that right now after that you can uh, you know save it bingo you should be able to do that save and finish editing okay I think that looks good and then you will be able to grab the link and then you should be able to you know paste it in there okay and so let's say I wanted to come down here and as you can see it changed it right here so I would click that right I can come to the bottom right here you can actually pick whatever domain name you want uh, if you want to but I'll keep or which one is that you come down here to where that is actually has the link if you want to actually shorten that link with bitly you can do that but you don't have to and then let's say I want to come here 
and I want to switch these links out right edit you switch these links out just like this and then you paste your link right bingo so now it'll redirect if I can open it in a new window when they click it then yours pops up right bingo right so whenever they click it yours pop up now in order to use this whole thing to be able to you know kind of hijack the whole thing you just go right here to the very top of the page edit HTML right click control a copy the whole thing then whenever you go to CPA grip a couple of different options but you know we know the main way is to you know right click click inspect go up here edit copy the entire page go ahead to CPA grip you know paste it uh, in there and boom now you have the entire page and yours should be linked exactly uh, you know exactly how you see it here so guys that's how you you know uh, you know pretty much take a page and put your own content locker on it right now with CPA grip trying to do this with CPA grip uh, may be a little different because it doesn't have an actual link right it usually has a code and so you'll be able to use a code to do that as well uh, but it's all the same way uh, you can continue to do it that way however you guys want to do it but that's how you do it and that's how you can go make some money when you find out you know find really really good pages guys it's that simple uh like i said guys thank you for 10,000 subscribers i'm gonna upload a video every day this week i already have some pre-made so if you do see some if you ask questions under this video and you don't see the videos because i've already pre-made a few of them already for this week guys so uh I will be answering all your questions and stuff below. Contact me if you guys have any questions or concerns. Once again, the training, the discount on the course is $50, and the discount on the Forex course is $50 until November, guys. So with that being said, it's your boy Jeremy Cash, and I am out of here. Peace.